Right, we're at 100% charge. That's the mileage. Um, I'm just going to see what, how long I can go before I require a charge. So today's Monday. And it's got unseasonably cold, according to a, a news article. Three degrees C. Um, so, yeah, we will see, starting Monday, how long I can go without a charge. Come on. Up. Good boy. Day two. What have we got in percentage terms? 90%. And that's the mileage so far. Well, that's an end to that uh, test. I'll chart it again next Monday because I've got to go out um, on an unusual trip tomorrow. Quite a long way. It's two and a half hour drive each way, so five hours of driving. So knock that on the head and restart it again next Monday and see if I can do it next Monday and have a normal week of driving. And what a lovely day for it. Oh my goodness. So the chances of getting good mileage here are uh, were severely reduced with all the rain, the extra resistance that brings, the use of lights, wipers. Um, but 155, let's see uh, what the total journey time is gonna be in total mileage. I think it's gonna be 125 up and 125 down. So quite a good bit of mileage today. There we go. 2664 and I've just reset that so it's zero so we know what we do on this journey and what kilowatt hours and etc we get. Okay I've got 52 miles of range left which is plenty. I've done a 98 miles and I've got 39.5 miles to go but I need to get a drink and stuff. Been on the road now for quite a while um, so I'm gonna get a charge whilst I'm quickly getting a drink. And I'm planning just to go straight there, really, was the idea. It's 129 miles. Was there. Um, I should be there, I'd say, 40 miles, 50. It gives me 10 miles when I'm there, there approximately, to drive around um, with to spare. And there's an Ikea there, so I'm just going to go and charge there. But I desperately need some water and stuff before I go and see the customer. Um, and that's probably the only chance I'm going to get. So I might as well stick it on charge whilst I go and get some water. Okay, and there's an issue with this charger that the breaker has tripped, the circuit breaker has tripped. Our engineers are aware and they resolve as soon as possible. Well, scrap that plan. I'm just going to carry on my way and get something in town. Lame. Okay, doggy, now I'm at Trowel Services to do the same thing as I just discussed. Uh, 20 miles on the old GOM and 130 miles travelled so far, only 7 point miles to the destination. So it's looking like 150 miles, even in this weather and this temperature, you know, with all the rain and stuff. It's, yeah, man, oh man. It's performed so well, this car. Right, let's go and see if either of these are on free then. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, they're not showing any connection, so uh, I will see. So let's see what happens when we plug her in. This would be neat if this was a free vent. I might stay in a little bit longer if it was, rather than a splash and a dash. VC mode. Wow, it is. Unbelievable. That is absolutely brilliant. So there's going to be no charge. I've travelled up north all this way. There's going to be no charge. That is amazing. And you can see my reflection and my actual thumb. Look at that. Right, I'm stopping longer then, obviously. Brilliant. Oh, I love it. I love it. And the sun's come out. Oh, so blessed. Travel all the way up here, 130 miles. <laughs> I'm going to get a charge and travel another, what, 100 miles. And I'm not going to have to pay. Right, what's it outputting? So we're at 14% on the old, can't see it in the car, but in the dash. It says it would take one hour 45 to get to 100%. But of course, we all know that's about an hour's worth of that. It's about the last 10%. We got it's not showing the output actually what is outputting oh well never mind and as you can hear there's a fan come on cooling you know cooling whilst charging there's a novel idea all right focus is all over the place right off i go and that's the time now it's 105 that's the time now that's when it started charging Okay, well we put 16.3 kilowatts in in 26 minutes so far. 
And what that means is that's got me to 50% battery from, what was it, 14% I think, wasn't it? In 26 minutes, which is not bad, is it? And that'll give me considerably more range. Right, well, it is now, what's the time? It's 13.37, so I'm just gonna end this charge now because it's time to get going. Um, otherwise I'm gonna be late for my appointment. So 34 minutes, put in 20.6 kilowatts of power. Okay, and that gives us 93 miles on the GOM. I'd say only seven miles until we actually get get to destination and then homeward bound again. Okie dokie, so I'm just about to head off again. Uh, it's five past three and it's 121 miles back to work from home. It was 129 miles, I think. But anyway, there we go. So I'll have to get a charge on the way back and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Now I've stopped just a second. You've got to see this. This is got to be the worst road. I came up here. This has got to be the worst road in the world. In the world. Look at it. It's just horrendous. It's the most <laughs> ridiculously plot of road ever. Getting through it is like a massive challenge. It, you need a Land Rover or a van. Crazy. Okay, I've stopped at Trial Services just to see whether or not I can get a free charging. I don't think I can, it looks okay from here, but I need a charge anyway at some point. So I'll probably charge up to, I'm not really sure, probably 80%, 85% to try and give me enough just to get straight back home from here. Well, look at that, there is no free vend. How lame is that? I'm gonna have to pay for this one. Anyway, let me get on with it. And here we go. It just doesn't give a readout of what power it's putting in. But it's charging and it's going to charge me for charging. But still got a massive amount. I got 20 kilowatts of power, 20 kilowatt hours of power for free on this journey. So that is pretty good. And I won't need much now. But... So currently on 53%. Time is 1522. 13 degrees. Okay, we are at 83%. What's the time, I wonder? Will that boot up? Possibly will. I need to end it in the app, really. Let's have a look. 1555, 14C. Let's go and see how much energy I have put into this. 34 minutes, 14.5 kilowatt hours. Um, obviously, because it's hit the 80% mark, so as soon as it gets up that that area, it slows right now. So time to turn it off and get going. So, I 138 miles. I get the warning still. No, and I've got 114 miles to go, so it should be just about right, actually. Okay, 10 miles to go on the GOM, sorry, and 12 miles to go. Um, so, we'll see how this pans out. Okay. Got the amber. Oh dear. Okay, well I've had destination unreachable uh, message several times. 5.3 miles. Five miles. Hmm. We will see. Okay, down to dash, 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 dash. I'm 1.9 miles away. And it went dash, dash, dash. About a mile away. 0.8 of a mile away it went onto that. Um, hmm. And now I'm just about to head up Killer Hill. <sighs> and I made it up Killer Hill. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Right, they're all downhill now, in a good way. Okay, home. Thank goodness. 260.3 miles traveled. Um, so that was good. Oh man, oh man, I can't wait to plug this in to see what the percentage is. I might have regened a percent back on the way down that steep hill. Um, but it is very low, I know that much. And there you go, one percent. Hmm. <sighs> now, off out in the old ENV two hundred. Off we go.